Hey everyone, John here with Pro X Paintball. I am back in the tech room. Today I have the T15, the T15 V2 20 round mags. I'm going to show you how to clean them. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So in order to clean and service your T15, this is the V2 20 round mag. So if they make a new version, uh, it may be similar or different. So just make sure this is a V2 20 round mag. I do have a postcard and I will show you why I have that. Any kind of thick uh, postcard, you want it about this length. I believe this is six inches by four inches. Uh, this helps me kind of put this mag back together and I'll show you that. So of course this is one of our Pro Edge ones. There we go. Okay, so first things first, I absolutely love this mag. It's pretty simple to take apart unless you really have to dig down into the guts of it. But for basic service and cleaning, one of the easiest mags out there. First, for, first things first is you want to take this little rubber slide off the bottom and you're going to press it towards the L side. So you can see it kind of sits like that. You slide it towards the back of the mag. Lay it off to the side. This will kind of come apart, so you want to keep it all together. Next thing, oh yeah, you're going to need your Allen Rich, your Allen set. Uh, or a um, Allen set or a dime. I used a dime last night, a butter knife, anything like that. But you want one of your smaller Allen keys. And the reason why is this just has little clips here, a little metal piece on top. And you want to be able to flex this piece out just a little bit. So it hooks on right here, here and on the back of the mag. So what you want to do is take your finger here. I'm holding it together again. I'm going to go ahead and take my small Allen key. And I'm not really prying it apart. I'm just doing it just enough to separate it because I want to take this little piece here and I'll lift it up and push it up just a little bit and I'm going to do that on both sides. Again a dime works really well or a butter knife something like that. So take it here, pry it up just a little bit and what's going to happen is as soon as you get it this mag piece will be able to go straight out towards the top. Oh, make sure you get it all the way on both sides. There we go. So just work your way back and forth. Once you get it, the mag, this piece is going to go up and come off the back here. So we're going to go straight up and off the back. Good to go. So pretty straightforward there. I'll show you one more time. And when you're putting it back together, make sure the back goes on first. And then that presses down. So if this is a brand new mag. So this is going to be way tighter than usually some of your used mags if you've done this a few times. So go ahead and pry it up just a little bit. Do the same thing on this side. And of course, you don't want to pry it too much because you want that metal still to, uh, when you put it back together, still to snap back together. So you're going to pry that parts up, those two parts of pieces apart, and then up and out the back. And there you go. So hold on to that. You'll need that here in a few. Okay. So then you're just going to do the piece that, sorry. So now that you've got that, you're just going to pull the two pieces apart. And it kind of does fall apart at this point because it's all under tension. And that is it. So the reason why I love this mag is you really don't ever have to get into like this little geared area here. Um, it is a pain to do it. So if you have questions about that, reach out to us. Uh, ProHPB.com, we have a live chat, message us online or comment below if you want to know more about the insides. But I don't want to do that in a video. So, so basic cleaning, take this, maybe a wet rag or like a rag with like some rubbing alcohol and just wipe it down, make sure it dries out before you put it back together. Both Same on both sides. And this is this here. So this doesn't come apart real easy. So make sure you just keep it that way. Just hold it. Anytime you're cleaning any of these pieces, you don't want that really to come apart. Same thing for the bottom, for the left side of the mag. Clean all that out real well. And you're good to go. As you can tell, this is how they go together. So the mag is, as you can tell, extremely simple to clean. So once you get good at this, you could do this in the middle of the day, middle of a scenario event. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so you're going to want this little ratchet piece facing the right side of the mag because it's going to have to line up with that hole there. And you're going to just place it inside here on the left side. And as you can tell, this doesn't want to fit in here. So this is where that postcard comes in handy. Uh, sometimes you can use the postcard to hold everything down or you can try to just use your hand, either one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ratchet this just maybe one. and I'm going to do a half turn and see where I'm at. What I mean by that is I'm going to spin this just half, halfway around. And what I want is the tip of this underneath the clearing the in the top of the mag. So I'm going to do one more time. So it looks like one full turn is going to give me exactly what I want. 
maybe a little too much even. Because if you do it too much, everything starts binding up inside of here and you don't really want that because it starts wanting to pop out. Okay, so now that I have it clearing that, again, I may come back and let it out a little bit, but we're just gonna take this mag and press it down while I'm holding. This part wants to come out the worst. See how it wants to shoot to the middle of it? This is the worst part here. So you wanna kind of hold this, if you can get your fingers in there, just like this, hold it down inside of here, good to go. And then I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down. So I'm going to take the top of this and use that to kind of hold the top pieces in place. Once you kind of get it there, then I'm gonna work my way down and you're good to go. So do not let go of this. If you let go of this, it will shoot apart. Um, what I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna go ahead and slide the bottom plate on to help me hold everything together and then I'm gonna to the top. You do wanna test your mags to make sure uh, that they are working. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hit this piece here to release the mag. So it's gonna shoot this all the way up and then I'm gonna ratchet it down just to make sure everything is working inside, not binding up. And what I would recommend if you have your gun, go ahead and put a few rounds to it before you go play again, uh, especially before you walk onto the field. But that is pretty much it. As you can tell, the spring on the inside can get kind of complicated. So you wanna make sure, again, what I really liked about it was when you use your hand, you can get a feel for it, but sometimes the postcard works good if you have a little bit smaller hands. Go ahead and push this one more time quickly. Everything's gonna come apart. And again, it wants to shoot out. So again, what I did was take this here and you wanna ratchet it down just enough where the tip of this goes underneath and I would say three quarters of a turn so one full turn worked but three quarters of a turn would be the best I think and then once you get it there one thing you can do as well is see how this wants to shoot out the side you can turn this like I'm literally rotating the spring so it naturally wants to press down because if I turn it to the left a little more it wants to shoot up so if you can get it where it can face down and you can hold everything in place just like that then take the top of the mag of the right side of the mag and press it down and you'll get it where it lines up. It kind of clicks into place. There we go. And see how now you can see the ratchet, everything's flush. I'm just gonna pull my hand out the bottom as I'm holding onto the mag, or holding onto the spring, and I've got it again. Good to go. So again, postcard works okay, um, but if you like, you have bigger hands, good to go. And then as far as putting the metal plate back in, do the back of it first, and then the front, and you're good to go. And like I said, please test it. I would hate for you to watch this video take it apart, go out there and play, and you get shot because you don't have another mag. Or you don't have, your mag's not working. If you guys have any questions about this, again, this is the V2 20 round mag. I will do one on the 10 rounders and the new 30 rounders. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, or if you like the video, if you're finding this helpful, just give us a comment, give us a shout out down below in the comments. We really appreciate that. It really helps grow our, our YouTube channel if you like and subscribe to the videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, any questions, reach out to us through social media at ProEdge Paintball, or you guys can email me directly, john at proedgepaintball.com. Thank you guys.